I want to talk a little bit about drag forces for an object that's moving through the air. So this is a skydiver at a few different moments of time, in time. And the faster the skydiver goes, the more the air pushes upward on him. And there's two limiting cases where if I have low speed, and so these are like radical simplifications of, of the real formulas you would use at the upper division level. And we're taking a low speed limit in one of those formulas. And it turns out the drag force is proportional to the speed. So I'll just call it the low speed limit. Then if you look at relatively high speeds, so the high speed limit, a different behavior becomes approximately correct. The drag force is proportional. That k is just a constant to the square of the speed. So I want to look at the phenomenon of terminal velocity and then apply these two different cases to get terminal velocity formulas. Using these simplified models for drag, you can actually get the equations of motion for the skydiver. And um, that involves solving a differential equation by separation of variables. And I'm just going to leave it for another video. So if I do like a little force analysis here, gravity is pulling down on the skydiver. And the force of gravity is not changing, assuming that the skydiver is not radically far away from the surface of the Earth. All right, so that's always staying the same. But what I'm trying to show here is that the skydiver is speeding up. So here I have only a tiny velocity. Here I have a bigger velocity. And here I have a bigger velocity. All right, so as long as you're going relatively slow, you can see in either one of these equations is true. If, if your V is small, your drag force is small, which I hope agrees with your everyday experience. So I'm going to put in the drag force. That's not right. It's going to be really small in this case. And that means the net force still points downward and the skydiver is still speeding up. And the drag force gets bigger. And the skydiver is still speeding up, but not speeding up as fast as before because the net force is smaller. And then finally, you're going to reach this point where the drag force is equal in magnitude to the weight. And that means the velocity is going to level off to a constant at this point. So the name for that constant velocity is VT or terminal velocity. So at terminal velocity, if I look at the, the linear drag approximation, I would have, let me specify that I'm looking at that case, the linear case that's v to the first power linear case. If I'm at terminal velocity, it means the drag force is equal to the weights. plugging in the linear model for my drag force, solving for VT, I get mg over k. The quadratic case, that's the v squared case, it's more accurate for high speeds. The drag force is equal to the weight, so that the velocity levels off to a constant. But this is the model where the drag is proportional to v squared. I divide by k and then square root both sides and I get vt is the square root of mg over k.